This is a demo video illustrating how to intubate a suspected or confirmed COVID patient. Before intubation, the team should assemble outside the patient's room and plan, use an intubation checklist. The team should consist of four main people, an airway doctor, an airway assistant, a team leader who is also the drug administrator, and an outside runner who remains outside the room. The appropriate PPE should be done by each member of the team. Please refer to your department guidelines. Verbalize the airway plan. Prepare the airway trolley outside the room to avoid contamination. Use a checklist if available. Special attention should be paid on how to set up the BVM. A viral filter should be attached to the mask. Attach the end tidal CO2 and a peak valve to the BVM. Rescue equipment can be placed in a Ziploc bag on the bottom drawer to avoid contamination and wastage if not used. Enter the patient's room. Turn off oxygen flow and remove any nasal prongs or face masks. Do not apply apneic oxygenation. Place two seal bags onto the patient. Apply the prepared BVM mask to the patient's face. Use a two-handed technique to ensure a good seal. Set the oxygen flow to 10 liters a minute and pre-oxygenate for three to five minutes. Do not bag at all. Administer the induction drugs and high-dose paralytic. Continue holding the BVM mask and do not bag. Tolerate desaturation if it occurs. Wait for complete paralysis. Place the used face mask into a seal bag. Insert the CMAC blade till a good view is obtained. The bougie is frequently used to railroad the ET tube. Inflate the ET cuff. Place the CMAC into a seal bag. Pass the clamp to the airway doctor. Use a bluey to grab the bougie and remove the bougie. Clamp the ET tube as the bougie is getting removed. Place the bougie into the biohazard bag. Attach the inline suction catheter. Reapply the BVM with the viral filter attached to the ET tube. Unclamp the ET tube. Gently squeeze the BVM. Secure the tube with ties. Do not auscultate for lung sounds to avoid close contact to the patient's airway. Check for equal chest rise and fall and end tidal CO2 monitoring. Plan B is the use of eye gel, as it forms a good seal when heated to body temperature. Plan C would involve back mask ventilation with two-handed technique. Oropharyngeal or nasopharyngeal airway should be used to improve air flow. The scalpel bougie technique should be the default method for can't intubate, can't oxygenate scenario. 